Yes, now let's put this induction heater at the side and let's have a look at this interesting thing. This is a very old car radio with a cassette deck, which is actually quite damaged. I found this at the dumpster diving and sadly this was the shape of it. It looks pretty smashed up, but they are very old. And there are not many left of these ones, so I want to do some documentation and we'll see how it looks inside of it and how it works so we can have it in the future when there are no cassette deck radios left for car use. Yes, it's made by Audio Line, made in Japan. It can have some 4 to 8 ohm speakers. It doesn't say how many watts, there are some frequencies. Long wave, medium wave, frequency modulation. There is no amplitude modulation on this one. Got some wires here. Got the ground. Got the accessory connection here. Goes the ignition. Got this uh, to the battery. And we got some speaker wires. And here's the antenna. The reseller is here. It's Carlson's TV service. That telephone number goes nowhere, I have already watched that. And we got some uh, transit screws, should go here and here, preventing this uh, cassette deck from uh, moving around. And on the other side, we got some screws, and not so much else. This is the front, we got this on off knob here, with the potentiometer for the volume. And here's the radio stations that's supposed to go to a variable capacitor. And we should see this thing moving around here, but it's sadly smashed up, so we can't do that. I unscrewed the front. And here we can remove these parts here. You can see how smashed that one is. Here's some kind of standoffs. I should be able to remove the whole thing here. There we go, we got some electronics here, looks like some LEDs. Now I remove the top screws, let's see if I can remove this part here. And here's the inside, look how much wiring there are in there, you don't see that in modern car radios. It does smell. It smells like these... Uh, you know, this uh, that looks like uh, Christmas trees you put in the cars that smells like some interesting things. The smell of those. I wonder if this person had a lot of these uh, Christmas trees in their car. Doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. There's the variable capacitor. Here's the potentiometer with the on-off switch. Here you can see the motor for the cassette deck. Yes, let's unscrew some of these. We can see a little bit better. Yes, I removed some screws. I can remove this cassette deck. Here's the motor. I can remove the cassette deck. Connects to the LEDs as well. You can have a better look at this variable capacitor. Maybe we can even remove that. Still kind of stuck in these uh, frets here. That's supposed to move this uh, part on the front here. See, it looks like kind of screw here. It's supposed to go around. Un unwind that. Pretty special uh, capacitor. Is this a variable capacitor or is this a variable uh, inductor? Maybe it's a combination of the both. Let's have a closer look on that. This is pretty interesting. Here's this part. Here's the connector. This looks kind of special. Is this the variable capacitor? Maybe. Maybe this is the very variable capacitor here. And this is the variable inductor. I've never seen that. Very special. Here's the PCB. You can see the long push rods here. Going to some switches on that PCB. Yes, let's unscrew that PCB as well. I just took apart the whole thing now. 
This is actually a variable capacitor and this is a variable inductor. These two are connected together. And if you can see here, these rods going in and out changes the inductance of the coil. You can see a closer look at that. And here's some uh, tuning circuits for the radio with some uh, preamp. And on the other circuit board here, we've got some uh, preamp for the playhead, which is in the cassette deck. Got this power amplifier here, some inductor, a bunch of capacitors. These buttons, which are like uh, rewind or fast forward. And here's the actual uh, cassette deck. Some buttons here. Got the playhead here. Got the motor, which maybe has the governor built into it, holding a specific speed. Here's the battery wire. Got this uh, fuse holder here. If we open it up, there's a fuse in there. It's a 2.5 amp fuse. And here's a rather special thing. There's some kind of micro switch in there. Let's take it apart. Here's inside of it, it's an inductor. It's just an inductor. So yes, so this will filter the input power. If there is a lot of harmonics, when you have the ignition coil, you have the alternator and everything, it just like gives out random frequencies. You don't want that in your car radio. So you have a little inductor here. It helps with that. Sounds like a switch, but this is actually this uh, Plastic. So I'm going to cut away this uh, variable inductor. Yes, I looked up a little bit while I was uh, disconnecting the wires or cutting them off. Uh, some went to this circuit board here. Some went to this part. And some went to these two switches. So these two switches actually changes between uh, long wave, uh, medium wave and uh, short wave and FM so that's that's why this one has had a bunch of wires this one here the coaxial one goes to this board goes here this thin wire goes all the way up here to this inductor I'm going to try to desolder this uh, amplifier and see what model it is if we can reuse that it takes a little while for the Soldering iron to get warm, so let's have a look at this one. This cassette deck, let's have a look on this other side. With all these belts here, still feels pretty good. It hasn't melted or decomposed. So let's take this cassette deck apart. Remove some uh, metal parts. Look how many gears is this on that one. The cassette is connected over these two. We can change which ones that get the power from the motor, in which direction the cassette should spin. Here we have these two, looks like flywheels, having some inertia. The capstan here, reading tape here, and some switches over here. And sadly now everything is taken to bits. Here's the reed head, we got the pinch rollers, capstan here, other pinch roller. Or flywheels. Looks like a normal stereo head. There's a switch. And the amplifier is a TA7240 AP. So yes, here we've got a bunch of components from that radio. Let's see what can what I can use from this. So it's potentiometer, amplifier motor. It always come handy. Maybe take some com components from the circuit board. This is a nice thing to have. Not because I have some use for it, but it's kind of special. But yes, there are some good stuff in the old radios. Hope you found this video interesting. And thanks for watching.